what's going on guys um today i am working on doing something that i tried to do a long time ago um but it didn't exactly pan out uh and that's if you uh set your system time uh in, on your computer to uh halloween of any year um then there is a certain chance that skeletons and zombies will spawn with pumpkins on their heads. And so uh, I, I set my system time to Halloween of 2017, and I stood by my mob spawner for about three hours, and I just grinded through uh, with a looting three swords. So for, for each level of looting, you gain 1% chance of getting um, the pumpkin. Uh, when you kill the mob and so um, with looting one you'd have one percent with looting two It's a two percent chance and with looting three. It's a three percent chance. So um, after a couple hours of uh, Basically just grinding out these mobs. I finally Got a pumpkin and there it is uh, So yeah now we with that pumpkin we can craft pumpkin seeds and we have pumpkins on the flat world this just in, in other flat world news, I have been uh, basically leaving my computer on for uh, overnight or while I go to work during the day, and basically I have accumulated chests and chests full of wool for trading with the villagers. Uh, the cheapest wool trade you can get is 18 wool per one emerald, which is pretty good. It's, it's pretty much the cheapest way to get emeralds that I've found in the game, to be honest, um, because uh, you can do wheat farms and stuff like that, but uh, uh, with this AFK sheep farm we've built, um, we can just leave the computer on and get wool. So I traded with tons and tons of uh, villagers to get uh, basically all the glass that we need to finish off uh, uh, the, the main glass portion of Salacia, uh, which is our underwater city. And so we're going to work on that today. Um, I've already gone ahead and placed most of the glass, as you can see here. Uh, and so today we're going to start working on some of the buildings. Uh, All right. All right. What's up? We're back. It's the flat world. Um, that other part was uh, a big montage of clips, but now, now it's me playing live. And here I am. Okay, so um, I showed you some of the work we did, and this is where we're at now. I've sort of modified the bridge over here, so. Uh, kind of comes down from here you know I, I, I got pictures on my other screen that kind of helped me sorry that was me checking the other screen uh, it kind of helped me see what this is all supposed to look like um, but uh, as you can see it's not that far from our our other base it's actually pretty close um, and there's gonna be a big glass tunnel going down here uh, so I might work on that off camera possibly, um, because that's going to be kind of boring. But then it comes down into this big old room here, uh, which is mainly just a staircase. And I'm, I'm thinking uh, possibly, nice, level 68, finally. <laughs> one, one more. Um, anyways, the, there's going to be water pouring down in this half moon crescent and, and then a wall here uh, but the, but other than that this room is pretty much just going to be used for dropping down onto this slime block which then launches us out up onto this platform which I guess needs to be a little higher so we don't take damage uh, but uh, today it is our duty to uh, design a house that will sit uh, right where this goes so you can kind of like land on the balcony uh, of the second story, I, I presume, um, right there, and, uh, and yeah, and kind of walk down through the rest of the house to get out, um, and maybe we have some key vital items in that house, and then as far as getting back up to that room, um, we can pick one of these sides, and I think I kind of want to have a staircase that literally snakes up, 
uh, or, or maybe maybe it starts like here and kind of goes all the way up and curls up to here but basically like a big staircase that kind of comes up into that room i know i'm gesturing a lot with my mouse here but but hopefully you can see the tangent lines feel the curves did that was that a magic trick i think that that tree just grew when i wasn't looking that was cool uh but anyways we better get started on this building um so let me let me get my inventory together i was kind of moving some stone over here from uh from the main base so let me get my things all in order and then uh let's get started guys i i was about to build the building but i realized i'm out of quartz so i'm on a quick quartz run getting some quartz it's just annoying because i have to go far in the nether to generate the quartz you know I have to walk, like, far away from... Not that far, but far enough that it's annoying. Um, you know, because I have an old nether, a pre-quartz nether. Um, so not all of it has the quartz. Uh, but anyways, it's about to happen, so here we go. And there we are. Alright, guys. So, I'm back from the nether, so let's do this. Uh, I got plenty of quartz now. Um... So if my platform is there, and let's put the entrance to this place like right here. So I'll mark that with a carpet and let's just start sprucing stuff up. So sometimes I like to right next to the entrance, put a couple lights because the entrance should be lit up and uh, let's just make a frame for the door here so we'll go boop 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 all right perfect so yeah that lines up okay we'll have the balcony sort of jutting out there from the side looks good to me um let me get my shovel here we can just dig out maybe a little front step here and we'll go with a boop, 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 boop. Ah, here we go. And that looks pretty good. Um, I want to put some bushes on top of that glowstone. So I need some bushes. But I don't seem to have any on me. Let's go check the chest. Do -do. Put away this iron so I have some room to pick it up. No bushes, huh? Alas. I will... Uh, just shave some trees real quick. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Everything went according to plan. Alright. So we'll put down a couple bushes there. Uh, looks good. And then let's figure out how wide we want this to be. I think I want uh, quartz to be... Oh yeah, and by the way, um, I'm using cyan wool as the accent block for all of these builds. Um, as you notice, I had some cyan wool up there um, in the in the drop down room, and I, I think it just looks nice. I have to trade for it, unfortunately, because uh, I can't get cyan dye because you need cactus green to make it. Um, but uh, it doesn't take that long to trade for it, uh, and it's actually really nice because when I'm doing my wool trades, um, eventually, here uh, let's let's go like this instead when I'm doing my wool trades with the villagers eventually they'll lock me out of a trade and uh, to refresh the trade you have to trade for something else so I've just been trading for um, uh, for the cyan wool because I need it anyways uh, so that works out pretty nicely uh, let's throw this in here we got some inventory problems but that's okay we'll be using up these blocks pretty soon let's get some stone brick stairs in here and that looks pretty nice. So we got like an alternating white and gray pattern going here uh, that we can continue. So let's get some stone bricks up in here. Uh, so we have this much in. That's that's probably about how wide I want to make the first face of this house. So now we should start kind of building vertically. Um, so uh, let's... Let's get some oak wood, and I like to use oak wood to do, like, big verticals, and we'll go back a block with it, 
Oh, that's not back a block. Let's go back a block. There we go. On each side we can do that. And we'll just go up a few blocks till we know how high we're going to make that. Yeah, that looks good. Um, just kind of sets the face of the house so that it comes forward a little bit. And then uh, let's figure out how long we want this thing to be. So I typically like a few blocks room. So let's let's call it about there. Uh, let's make sure that's odd. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. So let's push it back one more block. Um, I like working with odd numbers better than even numbers. Um, although it, that that's really only um, super important on the entrance with the door because I really like one wide doors. I hate double doors for some reason. It's just like a personal thing. Uh, but a anyways, I'm rambling now. So we got our four corners set up. This is usually how I start a house. And then let's just uh, experiment with putting, I don't know, three more blocks, making a little kind of uh, outcropping here. There we go. Cool. So we can uh, put put some more bushes down just like we had there. Actually, let's, let's do the glowstone again to sort of light up this face of the house. Um, so, put down some glowstone here, and where'd our dirt go? Whoopsie daisy, there we go. Okay, and get our leaves black, we're, there we go. Blah, blah, blah. getting tongue-tied here. Okay, so, uh, we can lay down maybe some half slabs, I don't know if that comes forward too much. Well, we'll try it. Uh, I'll put some stone bricks behind it, uh, so let's do that. Yeah, and then we can have a window maybe. So let's see, do we have window panes? We do. Typically I like putting windows on stair blocks, but I think here we can make an exception. And let's just continue. Let's let's do some andesite on the sides here. Sort of accent that. And then we can do a stair block uh, maybe above. And let's switch up our blocks again. So use a stone slabs up here possibly. And, uh, stair. There we go. Yeah, that looks decent, kind of. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like this middle block needs some sort of highlight. It's too much gray. So, uh, that's, there's a lot of white. So let's just try throwing a cyan highlight on there. Yeah. Ah, that, that does the trick. I like that. Yeah, when, when things just get too, um, you know monotonous, I guess. Uh, I like to throw in a highlight block, so it's good to have one or two. The white to sort of uh, contrast with the gray, but not too much, and then the splash of color with the with the cyan and the green. Kind of nice. Uh, so we've sort of established our color palette nicely here. Let's just bring these andesite blocks across the top here, and then we can maybe come out with some stair blocks for decoration. Uh, so let's do some stone stairs this time, and... We'll go maybe here and here to sort of support the next level of the of the room. Okay, so uh, let's let's hop up onto those and let's put these supports. We're gonna do uh, another layer of trees. Let's try four high for now, and that's that's almost you know. Let's just make it five so that we can hop up. Oh, six I guess so that we can hop up here. Okay. And uh, these better be half slabs. Uh, let's check. 11.5. Perfect. You see that 0.5? You're on a half slab. Makes sense. Um, half a block. All right. So let's put some little bit of uh, stuff in here. We're, we're framing up a window here. So let's have our window uh, go right up to the top of here. We can do maybe the same thing up here. Boop, boop and boodly boop perfect so we got a nice sort of frame for the window to sit in there mm -hmm. um oh, my phone's a buzzing bring bring blong blong actually you know what it is it's buzzing because i actually uh had a video doing really well it's getting a bunch of comments the last video i posted you know let's just talk about it uh it was it was uh, the very memeified people aren't sure if it's serious or not uh video of the uh uh, the Redbone, the Childish Gambino song Redbone, remixed in Minecraft, worked pretty hard on it. Um, I definitely intended for it to be somewhat ironic, 
Uh, honestly, the story behind it is basically just that I like that song, and uh, typically Minecraft parodies are these dumb pop songs, and so because there was a trend going on, I decided to do my take on it in Minecraft, um, and basically try to make it actually half decent instead of uh, sort of just, uh, you know, you know, just do the song justice, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. We got a big window there. Um, so we can start working on the side of the house, maybe. Um, let's try cyan for the sides here, because I know I don't want to do white. So let's see what that would look like if we just do some blue up the wall here. Do, 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 doodle -dee -doo. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Boing. Not bad. Not bad at all. And once it's framed up by the roof, I think it'll look pretty decent. Um, so I'm, I, I'm actually going to put away some of these blocks. Anyways, um, to finish the red bone story, uh, I'm, I, basically I made the video. Uh, it's at 30,000 views or so right now, which is pretty great considering I haven't released a video in a while. So thanks everybody who checked that out. Um, yeah, and uh, it was it was a lot of fun for me to make. So um, maybe I'll make some more stuff like that in the future. Definitely gonna make. Uh, definitely gonna be doing more stuff that that just I want to do and and just like that I think is funny or stuff about me maybe um, on this channel and sort of not make it as restricted to just the video games and stuff and just kind of do whatever I want because I do what I want. Um, but anyways. I'm going to start laying down the roof because that's going to take me a little bit of time to figure out. And then I'll turn the camera back on. We'll see how things are going with this house. All right, it's been a little time. And as you can see, I laid out the basic outline of the roof, but it's not entirely done yet. I have it kind of extending off to the side here for the second part of the house. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to finish the rest off camera. I think we're just going to do a shorter episode this time because um, it's like... I don't know. This is all I have time for today, and I, I just want to put this out. So um, next time we're probably going to do some more houses in Salacia. So uh, if you have any ideas for buildings or or projects or ideas for down here, just let me know in the comments. And yeah, um, again, thanks to everybody who watched the new video. I, I saw I, I had a definitely a few new subscribers. So hopefully you guys like this sort of stuff. If not, uh, I'll be doing other sorts of videos too, so just stay tuned. Alright, have a good life.